Hello and welcome to Amp Mini TV. My name is Brian Casey. I'm editor-in-chief of AmpMini.com, and we're here at the 2006 edition of the Radiological Society of North America meeting in Chicago. Right now we're going to be hearing about new research using a technique called positional MRI that indicates that some people who thought that they were using good posture actually could be causing their own back pain. I know we've always been told to sit upright with our back straight, but our study shows this position is not particularly naturally favorable uh, for your back at all. The bottom line is that we do not have any chairs that are available to us that are appropriate for the best sitting position. Uh, we have known that since humans have been sitting that uh, bad posture and back pain are related. The ideal posture has long been questioned and uh, it, until this present study, it's never actually been able to be accurately assessed um, how we actually sit and what we sh how sh we should be sitting and what our back looks like from an uh, MRI point of view. Uh, 53 years ago, J.J. Keegan uh, did an initial plain film study to actually find out which was the most biomechanically beneficial sitting position. Uh, he only studied four individuals and nobody's actually looked at this ever again with any modern imaging. That's Dr. Wasim Bashir, who conducted the study with colleagues at Woodend Hospital in Aberdeen, Scotland. Bashir is now a clinical fellow in the Department of Radiology and Diagnostic Imaging at the University of Alberta Hospital in Canada. Conventional wisdom holds that the best seating position is to sit up straight, with the body and thighs positioned at a 90 degree angle. Bashir's group wanted to test that wisdom by using MRI to measure the strain on the body produced by several seating positions. For their study, Bashir and his group used a positional MRI scanner, shown in this image, which differs from traditional MRI systems by enabling patients to be imaged in weight-bearing positions, such as standing or sitting. The patient in this image demonstrates one of the sitting positions, in which the body and thighs are positioned at a 135 degree angle. The group also imaged patients in the conventional 90 degree position, as well as in a slouching position favored by many computer users, in which the body is hunched forward. The group imaged a total of 22 healthy volunteers with no history of back pain or surgery. They used the positional MRI scanner to examine spinal disc movement, which occurs when weight-bearing strain is placed on the spine, causing internal disc material to misalign. The image on the left demonstrates a study subject sitting with the body positioned at a 135 degree angle, while the image on the right is of a patient sitting in a position hunched forward. Note the movement of spinal disc material, labeled NP, between the different positions, with disc movement more pronounced in the hunched forward position as opposed to the 135 degree position. This image demonstrates a study subject in the forward flexion position bent forward with elbows on thighs. Water calibration tubes are strapped to the patient's back to gather data for assessment of changes in spinal disc water content. This position demonstrates a reduction in spinal disc height, signifying a high rate of stress on the two lowest spinal levels. This image demonstrates a study subject in an upright sitting posture. The upright position reduces spinal curvature and the spinal discs compress and begin to move backwards, Bashir said. The researchers concluded that sitting in the 135 degree position produced the least amount of wear and tear on the body. Bashir and colleagues now advise patients to correct their sitting posture and to try and find the chair that allows them to sit in the 135 degree position, which isn't easy given the prevailing emphasis on sitting upright. Bashir also said that positional MRI gave the group a unique capability to image weight-bearing positions that wasn't possible with other imaging modalities. The group hopes its research will be used by furniture manufacturers to design chairs that better accommodate the 135 degree position. Obviously positional MRI is the only way you can do this at the moment and it provides brilliant detail obviously from the previous uh, studies. It was all plain film. You can't assess anything else around with plain film apart from bones. So we can see the tissues around and make a judgment of muscles, ligaments, tendons and again there's no radiation involved. So this is a great opportunity to design future seats. 